One more of these. There we go. It's really nice giving incendiary bolts a use. In Dishonored 1, they were mostly just for lighting people on fire, and... I mean, who would do that? It's not very stealthy, either. Flammable. Yeah! Yeah! That body burnt up. Okay. Oh. It's a fun lamp. Anything in here, though? Nothing too extraordinary. Everyone is looking for me. It might pay to be discreet. All right. Was infested with blood fly larva? I probably kill myself. <sighs> I'll try to get you a better shot of this, but you can tell which buildings are good blood fly dungeons, as I like to call them. Because whenever a building is seized for blood fly infestation, what would happen if you reported me? I warned you. It has that big Please, banner up there. No choice. Please, a wall of light from the time Please. of the rat plague. Guess what happens next? No. This is how we get rid of snitches. Remember, if anyone asks, he just ran through it. Yeah, we couldn't stop him. <laughs> So that's a bit of interesting non-linearity there. Oh, and I love these little... Oh, these little bridge apartments. They're so cozy in this game. Can't get enough hey, of them. Is the windmill turning all right up there? No problems? <laughs> um, no but going through the blood fly infested house gets you past this wall of light without having to shut it down. I like this setup better than using the well oil tanks. The wind won't run dry. Unless something happens to the windmill, these break down just as often in a different way. And they also overcharge sometimes. If the wind picks up too strong? Like in a storm? Right. And if that happens, trust me, don't stand too close to the wall of light. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Hmm. So what's nice about Karnaka is it's not as terribly industrial as Dunwall is. Um, they actually use wind power for some of their stuff. Still lots of whale oil. It's kind of what makes the Empire turn. But... Supplemented with uh, air supply. Pretty nice. I don't know how this thing spinning is enough to generate enough power to keep a wall of light activated. It's kind of strange. I mean, if this works just as well, why even use whale oil? But. Shut off a wall of light out of juice. Yep. Enemies now notice when a wall of light is shut down and they go to check it out, which is concerning. Oh, sorry. Okay, I got him. No problem. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Perfect. Maybe I should just work a double shift. So I don't have to listen to him tell me about how good it was under the Duke's father. Did I imagine that? No. I'm sure. Oh, wait, Stinging Bolt? Oh, I'll explain these later. I didn't realize you got them this early in the game. I'm looking for a sleep dart. Um. <laughs> you may notice that sleep darts work differently in this game. In Dishonored 1, if an enemy was unaware of you, the sleep dart would always work instantly. But in this game, sleep darts now always take like a little, a few seconds to activate, and they stick into an enemy, and you can like see where they stick into. It's a great little detail. But it makes them harder to use, which makes sense because sleep darts in Dishonored 1 could get pretty overpowered. So your options to just non-lethal people out from range are limited, but your options to non-lethal them out from melee range have been expanded. It's a big place. Ah! Oh. Wait. Oh, hold on. I know where this is. 
I just run here. Then I'm back at the pier, right? I am. Okay, got it. That's the black market shop. Oh, there's the seized home. This side of it, at least. God, this place is a maze. I mean, it's just a city, but it's a maze-like city. What's this? Please welcome in the new overseers that are in Karnaka. They dress slightly differently, but they're still assholes, like they were in Dishonored 1. Hmm. Well, and I'll get to that later. Exacting aim. Crossbow bolts, more damage? Might be good. Conducting a search for heretical artifacts. What? Here? Listen, I only need This to... area is restricted on the authority of the Abbey. No one is allowed inside. Who's there? Hmm? That sounded like broken. There we go. Alright. So I guess they, uh,. Arrested this guy and searched this place for outsider kind of stuff. <clears throat> Alright. Let me go into some detail here. Um, here's a painting that you can collect. Outsider in Conditional Dreams. And this is the first painting that we've seen so far that is new to Dishonored 2. Because the last one that I picked up, that was from Dishonored 1. Oh, the last two. The Boyle family and the... Pendletons, right? So, this is a new Sokolov portrait, and I want to address something. It's a little strange, but... Ah, well, it's a strange thing to get irked about, but this is very clearly a different artist than the other two portraits. And the obvious indication is, well, the art style's different, that, but, I mean, there's no backgrounds. Um, the Sokolov portraits in Dishonored 2 don't have backgrounds anymore. Uh, it's very clearly just concept art with the back turned black. Um, it's a bit of a shame because the Sokolov portraits in Dishonored 1 had so much like personality to them. And not saying that this doesn't have personality. It's it's just, it, you, you look at it and once you start noticing the difference you go, Oh, uh, this is just concept art. Sorry to say. It still looks nice though. And this one's a painting of the outsider even though it was established in dishonored one that sokolov has never met or seen the outsider and since you reuse concept art for making the paintings it creates like a bit of a lore confusion here we go all right anyway a shrine karnaka was a lovely city once before the duke began choking the life out of the place before the crown killer started painting the walls red now you're here, and I have to wonder whether you're going to give it that final nudge, or pull it back from the edge. We've both seen cities go bad before. Vermin, blood, and betrayal. It's happening again. I hope you're ready. Yeah. Uh, still chronically addicted to teleportation. I hope that we can get this man off of that one day. Uh, it can ruin lives. That being said, I did get runes out of that. And same as Dishonored 1, uh, Outsider visits you at his shrines in person and talks to you about the, the current plot and story. Um, more on that later. 
But I'm going to get some new powers. Let's see. Dark vision. I will get... I will show off how it looks different. It's still useful, though. Greater dark vision still friggin' great. And that is pretty good. Although, I've never gotten it myself. I've seen it used, though. Domino, Mesmerize, Far Reach. And I would really like to get Far Reach pull objects right off the bat. Because it's great. Other than that, um... All the other powers are at least four. Mesmerize is six. Jeez. I'll save up for now. So, I can pull objects, right? How does that look again? Ah, okay. Locks onto this, and then I press the grab button while it's flying towards me, and I grab it. Does this work on bodies at this level? It does! Oh, that's great! Okay, this is gonna make this is gonna make my life way easier. Ugh. Um. Oh. The frame's a little slow here. Oh, I mentioned it earlier. I meant to go more into detail about that opening cutscene that you get when Megan's driving you in on the skiff. Um so I used to have this game on PlayStation 4, and I recently got it on the computer because I want to record it and make this honored Let's Play like the whole series. It's very fun recording these, just so you guys know. I'm definitely not doing this for like the grind. Um, but on that subject, on PlayStation 4, and I got it pretty close to launch day if I remember correctly, that opening cutscene where you're driving in on the skiff and you're looking at the city and the shadows are still messed up that's the only scene in the game where like the city's overall shadows do that weird like layering thing look they don't do it here anymore what's up with that but the shadows like glitch out all over on the mountainside and on playstation 4 and maybe i think it was also on launch for pc this game launched poorly i should establish it was pretty controversial um that frame, the frame rate for that boat scene was never above, I would say, 10 FPS. It was really horrendous. I don't, I think this game had a pretty rough development, all things considered. Maybe Bethesda put the pressure on them. Maybe I discussed with Michael about how the management of the Dishonored projects kind of went through a big change. It went from three directors down to, I think, just one. Harvey Smith is the only one that's left. Yep. And there's a couple of, like, odd things in this game that start to add up that you notice. And you go, why was that decision made? And what was that about? And, hey, wh why does this level feel so distinct? It makes me think that the development went through, like, a really complicated cycle. But I'm no game journalist, and I've tried looking it up by typing as hard as I can into the Google search bar. And I honestly don't know a thing about this game's development. I know that there's, like, a documentary about how they tried developing it, um, but, I mean, it's a documentary. It's probably going to be shined up for, like, the cameras, don't you think? So, I'm not going to bother watching it because it was promotional material, so they're not going to tell you if development sucked. She crept back to that place, and there in the cellar, she found cloth of purple and red suspended from the walls, and a wretched altar of candles burned low. Some small trinket. They're giving their own little like and a few uh, coins left by PSA, public service announcement. I almost forgot the word there. Ugh, so much to do here. The main objective is to get to Adermeyer Station, which is like around there. Past that building. But there's a lot of stuff to grab. Runes? Oh yeah, right. He had those on display as like don't collect these cool things. Her corruption. But I can get in through the second layer, and this is the Overseer outpost for this district. We harden ourselves to the crime. There we go. To the heretic. Sometimes I wonder if it wouldn't be better to craft countless others from the horrible here in the city, for instance. We're made in a few locations kept from us and shipped out. It seems dangerous. 
far worse to have the knowledge of construction materials scattered across the aisles. The metals used to make the devices are unusually rare. The techniques, if applied by anyone but the most faithful, resolute overseers, would border on heresy. I suppose you're correct. It grieves me to imagine what cultists might accomplish if they took the music boxes and perverted them to their own ends. Exactly, brother. Much better to protect such a powerful tool. Assemble them in secret and dispatch them across the Empire where they're needed in the fight against the supernatural. Hmm. Oh, right. That conversation was them discussing uh, the Overseer music boxes from Dishonored 1. They don't make a return in this game. Huzzah! They weren't that much of a nuisance in Dishonored 1, um, but I guess they just decided that they didn't want them around anymore. Which is fine. Yep. Basically, the in-universe reason for why they aren't in this game is because they're expensive to make and, like, only a few people in the world know how to make them. Uh -huh. Can he see me if I, like... I guess he's busy. Some take comfort from the strictures. Ooh, an arc mine. All right, let's try this out. I want to show it off. Yep, this is your non-lethal mine. Now I just need to get him over here. What was that? Fight it! There we go. Oh, these are fun. I like arc mines a lot. <laughs> but man, is my game running worse than it usually does? Huh. Strictures to keep you safe. Lying tongue, wanton flesh, errant mind. Ah, oh, one of these again. Lying tongue is two. Wanton flesh is six, air mind. Okay, so two, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, money and runes. Oh, and raw whale bone, which is what you use for bone charm crafting, which I'll get into later. I mean, I could get into it now, but I don't have any particularly great bone charms on me. When I get good ones, I'll I'll craft the hell out of them. Believe me. But I'll explain that system when we burn that bridge. Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. Uh, huh. Oh, the interrogation room for that body that I'm supposed to recover. It's up here. The Karnaka Enclave. It's a nice but compact building. This heretic's body is important. Even though I don't fully understand the situation, during six months he claimed to be sick with some strange malady. In truth, he traveled with a band of highwaymen, robbing travelers. Will the heretic's corpse attract blood flies, brother? No, I've dusted it already. We should be fine here for now. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka. I thought that would work. Oh well. Plan B. Jesus, Emily. You gotta calm down. Oh. I'll take this time to show off another cool thing they added. Sliding animations. Hold on. Can I open this door this way? There we go. That'd make it easier. You can slide and do a non-lethal or a lethal. There, there we go. And it's instant. Pretty useful. Sliding's pretty situational, but still. 
Sweet. Uh, let's find those drawings. I made them. I'm an artist. Mostly newspaper advertisements. Nothing will dissuade you of these notions, I'm sure. So instead of wasting my breath, I'll give you some advice. Take a bath once in a while. Apparently, the accused suffered from a weakened heart, dying during the interrogation. His apartment on the canal should be searched for items. Oh, that was the apartment that I encountered earlier. I already went through it and found the shrine. That's Mindy Blanchard. Gang-related enterprises. That's it. The body Mindy sent me after. Oh, and a corrupt bone charm. Have I already picked one of these up? Okay, no. So, corrupt bone charms, they come with the positives and the negatives. These were introduced in the... Second DLC for Dishonored 1? Bring more witches, right? Take less damage from falling, health regeneration is halved. Not really worth it, most of these. Ooh. Amadeo, meet me in our usual place tomorrow night. I'm sure to bring drawings we talked about him. Come with me, Amadeo. I'm here to whisk you off to a basement underneath a dentist's office, right? himself. Hold to the seven strictures. Hmm. Hold on. I want to deal with those first. There we go. In her thrall, as it whispered in parlors and alehouses across the empire, do not doubt. We will verify this claim, and we will act. <coughs> Smoke will billow. Fires will leave. There we go. The stones of Dunwall Tower, and at the end of it all, the Abbey will stand. In the ashes. Oh, right. Um, Delilah being a witch and also the Empress is kind of throwing the Abbey into a mess. A tale most often shared from overseer to overseer. I'm sure they'll handle it. Apart from the flocks entrusted to our care. Apart from those we give our lives to both chastise and protect. Sometimes this tale is told within our mightiest enclaves. And sometimes it is told around campfires during our most remote pilgrimages. It is the sorry story of a man, most high within the Abbey, who was banished during oh. the Rat Plague. <laughs> Those work. His name may not be spoken, and all written record of his existence has been erased. So grave were his errors. Is that in reference to Overseer Campbell? To fall from the pinnacle of discipline to the muddy... Healthy appetite. Oh, sweet. Hold on. I didn't even realize I got this one. Regenerate mana while underwater. Drop assassinations. Healthy appetite. That's good. I do like you. Disgrace. That is his tail. To once wear the cloth of the high overseer. Hmm. I could play like a really big game of chess with that. Oh, that reminds me. I learned some people never learn chess. This is a tangent. This is tangential. As my friend Luffy would say. Um, I, that strikes me as odd. I found out just like yesterday. Some people never learned how to play chess. I mean, like, they never even, like, learned what the pieces do. Which is really what I'm defining as playing chess. You don't have to, like, win games of chess to be like, I've learned chess. But still, weird, right? How do you not, like, find out? I guess it's just, I never considered the the possibility that people could go through their life and not, like, learn chess via just being around chess games being? I'm rambling. Hey, you got it. Put it down in the hole. Yeah, chess. Oh, that was a chop! Mr. Takayama chopped him! Well...